In this video, we're going to talk about how to add an assignment to the gradebook. It sounds a little silly to go through this step by step to those of us who have been using infinite clicking for years, but honestly, I think we've all made the mistake of adding an assignment to the wrong place. Let's click Add. All right, the first thing that we have here uh, let's see, I, I realize that not all of my sections have been clicked. You may notice I click things out of order. All right, you know what, I've got two more sections of AP Physics 1 this year. And so now all three of them are selected. I am just triple checking they're all in the correct semester because for some reason they also include the second semester ones on this list. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to title this sucker, um, well I know that everyone's going to need to turn in a signed syllabus, so I'll use that as my example. Alright, uh, you need to put in an abbreviation, uh, those are kind of lame, but the in the assignment name I like to put as much detail as possible in my gradebook so the kids and the parents know exactly what things are. Sweet, Infinite Campus has selected an assigned date, that's the first day of school this year, so I'll just change the due date to August 14th, the next day, technically, cool beans. Alright, let's see, so many bells and whistles everywhere, uh, oh, category, that's definitely not a final exam, I'm going to change that to kinematics, which is my first unit for physics. I'm going to make this worth 10 points, no, 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 no. I'm going to make it worth less. 0 0.1 as my multiplier. That makes my assignment worth only one point. Sweet. Okay, now let's see. I have uh, I've checked everything. Uh, what's that? Oh, if I don't want to include it in grades, I could just unclick the include in grade calculation box. That's kind of weird. Um, let's see. Uh, I've done the name, I've done the abbreviation, I have all of my physics classes, I'm in the right category for the beginning of the year, good due dates, oh no, it's the most important thing ever. I think that I need to change this progress grade to something better. Probably because if I don't change it from progress grade to semester grade right now, I will have to do that and have a headache and I will have disappearing grades and I would have to call myself. Uh, and ask for help when grades are due, because all the assignments are in weird, mysterious places. Please make sure that all of your assignments are in semester grades all the time. It's no joke, you guys. It's a super big headache if you don't. Every single assignment you add must go to semester grades and semester grades only, unless you teach a quarter class, which is not very many of us. I see that there's some new buttons here about scoring rubrics. I don't know what that is, so I'm not going to click it now. I'll check it out after this video. All right, we'll save our assignment. And then all of us will be like, okay, now what? Well, you could click the score button. You can enter grades that way. I like to do it in the major uh, spreadsheet portion of Infinite Campus. Oh no. And then all of us are having a mild heart attack. Where's, where's my assignment? Where'd it go? Thought this would be the end of the video. Hmm, I'm gonna look around, I'm gonna click things. Uh, it's not the settings button. Oh. Oh dear, where is it? I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling, I'm freaking out. Oh, I need to be in semester grade. And all will be well, I promise. Good luck everyone and call me if you need help. 